All right, guys, another knife review. This one is of the Spider Coast Salsa. Okay, now the salsa is a, a blast from the past. Um, I usually hesitate in doing knife reviews on uh, discontinued knives because people watch the video and then they'll want it and then it's hard to get. Um, this one's no longer in production. Um, there's a couple different flavors, if you will, on this knife. This one's obviously the green one. Okay, the uh, anodized aluminum version. Um, there was a couple different colors. There was like a, a black, there was a deep bluish purple, there was a red one, uh, I believe maybe a silver one as well. But besides the, um, this one has a compression lock on it. I'm talking old school compression lock, way before the paramilitaries came out. Um, but there's also a titanium version of this knife uh, that had a, uh, a frame, frame lock, but it was reversed. It was like a frame compression lock, which is pretty cool. Now originally that version was like 120 bucks. And these uh, anodized aluminum ones were around 60 to 70 most places. Um, today, it's you got to pay whatever people want for them. Okay, because they're discontinued and they're, uh, I guess, collectible. Um, it's whatever the secondary market values it at. You know, if everyone started selling it at 100 bucks, if you wanted one, you'd have to fork over 100 bucks for it. That's just kind of how it works. It's it's basically worth whatever whatever you're willing to pay for it. Okay, you can find these. There are people who have them who just don't care about them, and maybe you can get them for like 40 or 50 bucks used. But um, it really I can't I can't tell you where to go. Uh, Bladeforums.com, Knifeforums.com, those kind of places will will get you started as your you know to your search for these. Um, both uh, websites do have their own. Um, you know, for sale or trade sections, okay? So you can find them. It's just going to be a little bit of a, a hunt to track them down. And then once you get them and once you do find them, it's a question of how much people are asking for them. I would still say you're probably going to spend less than 100 bucks for the uh, aluminum versions, okay? Just my opinion. Uh, I would say it's a fair, fair statement. But anyway, um, pretty cool old knife that the whole concept behind these were, again, uh, Spider Co.'s little big knives. And what I mean by that, where they were literally shorter knives, but they were beefier, they were wider, it gave you the whole feeling of having a, a larger folder in your hand. And you felt very sturdy. Um, just It felt really good, and it does. It feels great in the hand. Ergonomics on most Spider Co.'s are out of this world. This is no exception whatsoever. Um, even though you have the individual finger choils here, it just it melts in the hand. It, it literally, it's just made <laughs> for the human hand. Unlike a lot of other knives, it's uh, they pay a lot of attention to the uh, you know R and D stuff, and uh, they find out what's comfortable, and it usually works. So um, anyway, some specs on this: uh, the blade is AUS eight stainless. This happens to be the Cabo Edge blade. They did come in the uh, plain edge version as well. The blade is two and seven sixteenths inches long. Okay, this knife closed is three and a half inches long, making the overall length five and thirteen sixteenths inches. I love how Spyderco gives those those specs in sixteenths of an inch. They're so precise. And they even have, I'm not gonna break it down in this video, but they have, you know, the difference between the blade length and then of course the cutting edge. Which is pretty interesting. They go the extra mile on their website. But um anyway, this does have the compression lock. If you're not familiar with these, it's basically a reverse liner. It's a liner lock, but it's on the uh, the spine. What what does this do really? I mean, it does add a lot of strength to the uh, design itself, but you're also taking out that factor of um, accidentally hitting the locking mechanism while you're gripping the knife. I mean, most people will use a knife either like this in a natural grip or like this in a saber grip. And even in the saber grip, there's really very little chance you're going to push that lock. Okay, lock up is real nice on it. You know, snaps good. There's no blade play in any direction, even for an older used knife like this. You can see that the uh, design on here says salsa, and it has a chili pepper on it, which is pretty cool. But um, it's a comfortable knife. Like I said, even though it, it is on the smaller side, it feels great in the hand. Real beefy. One of its coolest features is the cobra hood. Okay, this here is the cobra hood um, or thumb plate, but um, it obviously allows the blade to be open, ambidextrous, you know, right-handed or left-hand opening. It's real easy to get to, even if you have gloves on. Um, just real, real nice. It is removable. There's a torque screw that goes through it. So if for some reason it did bug you or you didn't like it, you can take it off. And then you just have the regular opening hole. But it's pretty cool. The Cobra Hood, I'm not sure offhand what other knife models it was on. But the Salsa, it was, it was pretty, pretty well known to be on the, uh, the Salsa models. Overall, it's a light knife, having the anodized aluminum here. 
uh, and being on a smaller size, it's not that heavy. It weighs 2.5 ounces, which is uh, very manageable in the pocket. Speaking of pocket, we have the wire clip. I happen to be a huge fan of the wire clips. I absolutely love them. A lot of people don't like them. I happen to love them. On this particular knife, you're stuck with one carry position. You can see there's a little grooves for the clip, um, but that's the only spot they're in. So it's a right hand uh, carry tip up position. So pretty cool little knife. Feels good in the hand. This one happens to have a lantern on it. This came from Ashley, Quality Knives, who traded this knife for me. She made this cool little lantern for it, so I figured I'd keep it. And, you know, obviously it looks good with it. Well, it looks good. That's an opinion thing. <laughs> but I happen to feel it looks okay. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Like I said on a lot of other knives, not a lot of people on YouTube mention this, but it has a nice presentation look to it. The pivot uh, screw here is reversed so that you don't have the... Uh, you know, the um, screw side on. It just gives it a cleaner look overall. But just one of those old school Spydercos. Um, the AUS 8 stainless on this uh, does hold a decent edge. Uh, you guys are pretty familiar at this point with the AUS 8 or, or all variants thereof. And uh, as long as you can sharpen your knives up, it's not a problem. This one happened to be made in Taiwan, Taipei. Uh, one of the only knife manufacturers in the world I've ever seen <laughs> mark exactly where in Taiwan. And I think that's pretty cool. It just, again, it's just a small detail that shows that they go the extra mile to show that they have quality control. It's not just China. It's specifically where in China. You know, it's not just Taiwan, which most knives just say Taiwan or Taiwanese. This one says exactly where. So pretty cool. So kudos to Spyderco. Like I said, a little uh, blast from the past here. If you have a uh, Spyderco Salsas, I'd love to see a video on it. At one point, I had every single one in the collection, and I sold the entire collection as is for, I believe it was like 300 bucks, which today would be a steal. But back in the day, it's just, you know, I've had so many knives go through my hand, and for whatever reason, either I, I don't usually lose interest, but I want something else, and I don't have money for it, so I just get rid of, you know, I either sell or trade what I have to get something new. So it's always been a constant rotation. But it's definitely a cool little knife. Really like it. So anyway, there's a review on the Spider Coast Salsa. If you guys do like this enough to where you're going to go look for one now, I wish you luck in your search. You will find them. It's just a matter of you know what exactly what version of the model and how much you have to pay for it. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.